And I guess another thing that that you look at is you're excited about you know what you're doing at FrameTech also as as an investment too. So I guess what does that th- that part of things look like as it connects to um, you know the retirement side of things? Well, so so my partner David well, retirement Morris I, investing. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, my partner David Morris and I were looking at the the work we were doing with people's retirement accounts through EQRP over the years, and we said, what can we do to help these people with their retirement money doing something outside of Wall Street? Because they, people get control of their retirement money through the EQRP that we set up for years, and then they're sort of stuck and they're like looking for deals. And so we said, okay, well, what's what's out there? And so we spent a number of years looking. And and what what is what happened? This all came together because of relationships, twenty five year relationships, where we said this is literally the perfect thing to be able to offer to people in our community. It's really an institutional quality investment for uh, in private equity for accredited people, for the everyday average person that's saying, I don't want to be in stocks necessarily. I want to be a part of something where I can be I can be building something like it's it's actually meaningful. And interestingly enough, when you do when you do something that's very meaningful, sometimes there's an opportunity to make an incredible return when you build something that's that's like the secret in America I think like what you're doing mm-hmm. you're building a company when you go build something there's this incredible opportunity if you just go buy something and speculate and say I hope it goes up that's different than going out and building something from the ground up mm-hmm. and that's what we're doing we're building from the ground up so all the investors that come in and they say I want to be a part of building this with you. And so we've we've worked with our community and the people that say, I want to, I want to invest in something outside of the S&P 500. And they get an opportunity to do very, very well with their money. And it's very real. They can put their mm-hmm. arms around it. They can walk into it and say, oh, I can touch this. This is, I get what you're doing. It's not some black box that is mysterious that they don't really understand. Everybody can understand a wall and a floor and the shortage of people wanting to go out in the in the elements. So it's an incredible opportunity for people to be able to participate. And that's that continues. As we mm-hmm. as we continue to build, people have the opportunity to invest in it. Well, I think the thing that excites me about that too is like, if you look at it, like you know, you had a lot of speculation, um, you know, with people investing in derivatives and all these different things, and like I don't know, I feel like that's very predatory in a lot of ways, right? Because you're you're, you're looking at well, how are the loans packaged and how are these different like? So I feel like I, that kind of bugs me a little bit. But if I look at like you know what you're talking about, also comparing it to you know building a business is like you're actually investing in someone building end value, not just gambling, right? And I think that's what's really exciting to me. And I think really when you, when you look at the best money spent, it's in someone producing something, man. All day long. Whenever I'm looking at things that I'm investing in, if if my money's going into something, I'm investing in something that's being built. I'm investing in the people and the idea that's going to solve a problem. When somebody says, Hey, you can make a bunch of money with this. I go, who is it? And they're like, well, it doesn't really matter that, you know, it's these guys, they've been doing this for a year. And I go, I'm out. Like, I mm-hmm. want people that have been doing it for, for, you know, longer than one season. Like, Hey, you better be, have been doing this the last three presidential cycles, not the last you know city council cycle. Like, I want you to be in this thing for a long time. And I want to be a part of something that, that matters. It's the speculating thing. It's unfortunately we've, we've all been trained to do that. You go into the stock market and it goes up and it goes down and it's literally a casino. And I think people are tired of that. I've just watched people over the years say it freaks me out. Like whether I'm up or I'm down, I'm scared. I'm not going to have enough and I'm going to run out of money before I run out of life. And so this gives people an opportunity to be a part of something that's predictable. They can say, okay, I get to be a part of this thing that's being built. We know that there's going to be never ending demand. I mean, whether you love it or hate it, there's like several million people that came across the border that are going to need housing in America, like Mm -hmm. in the last couple of years, that just added more pressure to the demand that's needed. So we have this incredible problem and and we, we solve this little piece of it and it ends up being a huge opportunity. So Mm -hmm. it's, I I just think from my experience, watching people get excited about being a part of, of solving something, not just throwing their money, hoping it gets bigger. They actually see how it's going to happen and how they're impacting the 200 families that we hire 200 people Mm -hmm. per facility, these communities that where, where people are, they need the jobs. They're outside of major metropolises. So in, in more rural areas, we're creating jobs. It's like literally building America back again in reality. Yeah, I, I love that too. Like we had a, a client that we worked with um, last year. We're still really good friends. It's just we're not doing a campaign for them right now. And uh, part part of their investment line is they actually um, are building homes and stuff in South America. And the way they actually run it is people invest so that the homes get built. And then they set they set the payments for people that are, you know, paying for these homes at well below market value. So the investors are still making money, but people are getting affordable housing to like actually take care of their families. And like, to me, that's really exciting, man. When everybody can like make a profit, but at the same time you're helping somebody. 
I, I think you're hitting on something, and there's been this buzzword about stakeholders and, and equity and all this stuff in the last few years. And what's really cool is when I say every, all the stakeholders win in this in, in this whole thing, the investors, the community, the employees, the like everybody is winning. The environment, mm-hmm. this, these plants are lead gold. So I mean, we have they're all solar based. So almost all the electricity comes from solar. So like all the things that we're doing, we're being very mindful that there's, it's not a win lose. It's not like trading commodities where there is a winner and there's a loser. You buy an option, somebody wins, somebody loses here. Everybody purposefully is winning. And that's, I mean, we've designed the whole thing so that everybody's, everybody's, everybody's together. They're all, nobody's saying, well, you got more than me. They're just like, man, I'm so glad we're doing this together. So it's, it's a very cool thing. And I think the more the businesses focus on everybody winning together. I think you're going to see, I think you're going to see a re- resurgence of, of what America was. I think that mm-hmm. there's more of that to come because we're, we're building and winning together. 